Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm in Liverpool at the No Limits Boxing Gym. Delighted to be joined by my good friend Gary Cully. Gary, we're here at this uh, match room in the community. There's about 100 kids behind me doing some pad work. Uh, I mean, that's, that's probably the most I've seen any boxing gym I've been in. That's probably the most kids I've ever saw in my life, man. So it's a, I don't know what you're doing here, but you've got a lot of work ahead of, after this interview. Yeah, I've got a lot of rounds of pads to do. I <laughs> uh, may tell John my elbows will be sore in the morning, but yeah, it's busy down here. Um, class to see all the kids getting in back to back to my roots and uh, sh- it, it reminds you where you come from you know what I mean so uh, yeah it's good to see and it's good to see it's all busy as well let's talk about where you come from you come from Dublin now I read a bit on you that this well, obviously let's talk about Reese Mould you're fighting Reese Mould on the 25th of this mo- uh, November um, I read something about you you said last time out in Dublin it was about the party and this that and the next thing but this time it's business you're going in there to right that wrong that happened a few months ago I take it this is serious now. You're not going to let that happen ever again, especially in Dublin. Yeah, like this one is a little bit different to me. It's uh, it's personal. I don't care about all the being on social media and promoting my career and promoting a fight and and all of this kind of building a building a name and all this kind of shit. Like I don't I don't care about that right now. Um, I care about I lost a fight and and I need to right that wrong. I need to get back to winning ways. I'm. Uh, I need to go back into that club. That's the club I belong in, and I need to get back into that club. And um, I'm not there right now because I'm coming off the first loss in my career, obviously. So this is personal to me, um, and I'm putting in a lot of work, and uh, I'm going to make it right on November 25th. Believe that. Well, Reese Mould, obviously, he was due to fight a couple of weeks ago, I believe, and that fell through. But now he's got you in Dublin. He's he's going to be hungry because of that fight that fell through against uh, Mark McDonald, I believe. So he's going to have that hunger. He's already had a fit camp. He's already been in a camp, so he's going to be fit. He's going to be strong. Um, so what kind of Reese Mould are you expecting on the 25th of this month in November? don't care about any of that. Literally, like I said, I don't care about building a brand. I don't care what. I don't care about Reese Mould. Um, I know what he is. I know what he does. He's going to come to fight. He's game. He's tough. He's strong. Um, nothing I haven't seen before. Walk forward, orthodox. Um, been dealing with them all my life. So... I'm going to go in and show him something that he's never seen before, I believe. Um, put on a put on a, a good performance, but uh, I'm coming to hurt somebody on November 25th. See, when you signed for Matchroom, now I obviously saw you from the beginning of the Titanic when you've come through, and I was excited about it. Oh, I kept on talking about your height and your six foot two. how the heck can you make lightweight, and you're going to be a force in this lightweight division. But then when you signed for Matchroom, there was a lot of big stoppage wins, and the hype was behind you, the train was going at full pelt. Did you sort of like... I don't know, with your mindset, did you believe a little in the hype and you sort of talk about building a brand, being on social media all the time? Did that get ahead of you, do you think, in, uh, against that Felix, Jose Felix fight? Probably, yeah. Um, I believe I was maybe fell into a trap of, yeah, building a name and, like I said, building a, building a brand and all this social media kind of stuff. And then again, for a guy who was 16 and 0 and, and a 10 knockout, so. I was quite inexperienced and we used to talk about it um, people who were in boxing circles and I had conversations with for, for somebody of 16 fights undefeated time to step into world rankings time to get into world title eliminators and stuff I had like 50 something rounds or something I don't I don't have that many rounds behind me and for the last last couple of fights the the goal with, with management and with matchmaking was kind of get somebody in who's tough to, to give me some rounds you know um, because it's it's something that, that I'd been lacking I um, always believed in my fitness and my condition and I'm always very very fit but just that, that experience to be in there for 10 rounds I never got that and uh, obviously the last 5 fights blown through them all and um, I believe that level everybody at that level that I needed to, to get them rounds off probably was turning fights down because I was running through everybody I was I would run through my last five and they were just going nah fuck that I don't want that fight so I had to skip up the levels a little bit I believe probably a little bit too soon um, Jose Felix 40 50 odd fights um, more knockout double knockouts that I had wins um, and I probably had to skip up, skip up the levels a little bit early I never say no to any challenge I believe in uh, believe in my potential believe in my hard work but um I was running through everybody and I had very little experience built up, I believe, so um, probably maybe took a, a step too far too soon, but look, I've, uh, I've went back, Reese Mould is accepted again, this fight was on the table for May 20th, and he, him and his team didn't want to know because I was the boogeyman back then, wasn't I, but 
he's obviously seeing that something that he thinks is a vulnerability and uh, decided to take it this time, grew a set of balls this time around because I'd obviously taken that loss. So um, we'll see on November 25th. What I will say about that loss, Gary, is something that if you're running through everybody, you do have that knockout power. But one thing you showed in that Jose Felix fight was the Irishman in you. That you're hurt, you're badly hurt, you've been knocked down. You didn't want to take your knee, you didn't want to hold. You just wanted to fight. You wanted to continue to fight rather than hold and take a knee and bide your time and get that breath back in you. So that showed you that you've got heart and you're willing to go to the trenches if need be. You don't want to do it as often as, 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 you, as you think, but that's what you showed that time that you've got big heart. So that's, that's what I'll give you props for that time. But again, Reese Mould, you need the rounds like you just said there. Is Reese going to give you the rounds or do you think you can blow him out early? I think I think Reese Mould is a, is a very, very good opponent. Don't get me wrong. Um, He's been English champion 18 and 1. His only loss has come to Lee Wood, um, who's obviously running through world champions. So, um, yeah, he's a good opponent. Um, one loss to his name, like I said, against Lee Wood, 18 wins. Um, been through championship level, English title, English champion. Um, has a couple of 10 rounders behind him. He's tough, he's game, he always comes to fight. So, I believe he'll be there. Um, I believe it's a fight that I'll have to work hard in, that I'll have to be on point for. Um, but that's what I wanted. I didn't want to step back into into any tomato cans or, or easy fights, and, uh, knockovers, anything like that. I wanted to get in, get into a real fight it's for a title, get me back into world rankings, and um, push on. Then well, let's talk about the gym. I mean, you've been in Liverpool for a few months now with Joe and Deco, and I said that same thing I said to Keevan right now. Especially you and Keevan, great, great fighters. But then you've got the likes of Josh Taylor, Liam Smith. JJ Metcalf, Aston Brown, Frankie Stringer, Jack Turner, Shannon Courtney, Darren Till. I mean, wow, <laughs> wow. There's, there's undisputed champions, world champions, there's European champions, there's prospects, there's Jack Turner and Frankie Stringer starting off the career, there's guys like you and Keevan who's on the cusp of major titles. I mean, the gym must be buzzing right now and you must be excited to be in there. Yeah, it's unbelievable. And the people who's, the Jack Turners who's 2-0, fighting on Saturday night to move to 3-0 gets treated the exact same way as the Liam Smiths or the Josh Taylors undisputed champion so that's what makes me enjoy being in the gym so much everybody's the same everybody's just one of the lads um, Shannon obviously as well and um, yeah it feels like a real team spirit in there I'm excited to be a part of it I'm excited to get a win on the board for the, for the team and uh, start my start my career with my new team and my new life with my new team on Obviously started already, but kickstart on November 25th and um, yeah, get back to winning ways and move on to bigger and better things with Joe and Declan and the team as well. I mean, you've got some good spawn there. Young Frank is a good fighter. Josh Taylor as well, if you ever need some southpaw spawn. I mean, for you, it's, it's, I've seen like the hill runs as well and I've seen Aston Brown tailing you. Has, has he been keeping up with you in these hill runs? Because we all know how you can run. You can run like a deer. So has Aston been keeping up with you? Yeah, it's not, the, <laughs> it's not just the sparring. It's the competition in where you go into strength training and you see Keevan there knocking, knocking 160 squats, 170 squats out. And it's the, the competition from Aston when we're on the hills and he's on my heels. And, and Frankie Stringer when he's on my heels trying to catch up with me as well. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah it's the competition the young blood like Frankie and that coming through and then the experience of Josh as well so you get to learn from everybody you have Frankie pushing me through my paces being being young and uh, and Joshua's experience being able to learn from him as well so you've a mix of everything there and I'm really loving it and being a part of it and uh, learning every day as well so yeah Let's talk about the, the, the why we're in Liverpool. Why I'm in Liverpool, not just to come down and see you tonight, Gary. That's not the reason why I'm in Liverpool. I'm in Liverpool it's for the. No, that's, that's, <laughs> well, did, that's a small part of it. But Jack Carroll's got a huge fight against Jorge Linares yeah. in and around your weight division. Linares was down at lightweight, so it's a good fight for, for Jack. Maybe Linares coming to the tail end of his career, coming off three losses. But what kind of fight are you expect on Saturday night? Yeah, I remember only a, maybe a fight ago, Linares being talked about a potential opponent for me, and probably if I'd have beaten Felix maybe would have looked at Lenara's fight next so I see what they're doing there with, with Jack building him off uh, off a big name but somebody who's still got a little bit left in the tank as well I believe um, he's coming in hungry and uh, he's going to be there and he's going to show Jack his experience as well um, I believe I've done rounds with Jack obviously before as well and I believe he's world class um, I believe he's got too much for Linares right now and um, I think he'll put on a performance on Saturday night and show, show he's one of the big dogs in the division. Final one before I let you get and do some pad work with the 100 kids that are behind me. 
no, <laughs> November 25th, November 25th. What's happening? Gary Cully back to winning ways. That's all I care about. Um, if it's an empty arena, if it's a full, I know it's going to be full because how good Dublin is and, and how much the Irish fans come out. But if it's empty, if it's full, if it's here in this ring here, if it's in the tree arena, I'm, Gary Cully back to winning ways, back on the horse and ready to, to push forward and move on with my career again. No doubt I'll see you throughout the week, Gary, but I will see you November 25th in Dublin, so I'll be there, mate, and I'll see you soon, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Blanked him.